In the last episode, we saw that what is the difference between a stateless widget versus a stateful widget. And we have seen that we can simply format things just by using reformat code with Dart F. MT, yeah, FMT, correct. So, what kind of uh, formatting it is talking about? So, I have removed the comma from every line, the last comma, and now I will say reformat code with Dart FTM, FMT actually. <laughs> so, you can see everything is crushed up, and we cannot see actually where which widget is closing. So, yes, for that, we need to give the comma for every uh, closing of any widget we can say and now if I format with FMT yeah it is formatted and again if I give here format you get the point but what I want as soon as I click save as soon as I click save you can see I'm clicking on save or actually I'm pressing save control s or command s it is hot reloading but not doing anything so it's very easy what we need to do we need to create a macro so go to edit and find this macro part or maybe wherever it is you just need to find the macro and click on this start macro recording so actually macro is recording whatever you are doing it will record it and you can use that number of steps many times with just one click or just by calling that macro so i will say start macro and first thing I will do I will save this file and then I will format code with dart fmt yes I call it right dart fmt <laughs> okay so here is that and we are not doing anything and then again go to edit go on the macro and I will say stop macro recording as soon as you stop macro recording it will ask to give a name to this macro and I will call it save and format so save and format is the name given to the mac macro and click ok so now if I save it nothing is going to happen but if I go to edit go to macros and now I will search for this save and format and I click here and it doesn't do anything why what happened because we have to give comma here and here and now I will go on edit once more and save and format cool you have seen that it is now saved and format so once again I will save it without formatting and now I want to bind this macro with a key binding so I will go to the settings and go to key map and here I will search for the macro name and macro name is save and format so you can see this save and format doesn't have any uh, what we can say keyboard shortcut yeah keyboard shortcut so I will say add keyboard shortcut and I will just press whatever I keyboard shortcut I want to give I just need to press that so if you have Windows you just need to say control s but I have Mac so I'm going to save I'm going to press not say I'm going to press command s and it says command s is already defined in save all so i will say okay that's not a problem and remove the previous one so i have removed the previous one and i have now a single binding command s save and format so click apply and click okay and now i will save and format to do or to show that we need to give the comma hit command s boom you can see we have done that with a one click or one press actually so this is all about key binding and save and format with just a simple macro if you have any shortcut if you want to uh, give your opinion and how you can th make things faster just comment below or share with any platform because i am available at various platform like facebook twitter Instagram. Instagram, <laughs> Instagram and LinkedIn so all the platforms are open for you just go message me like me follow me whatever it is and we will meet in the next episode till then bye